How to use search function in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Train Tutorial. In this function explain video series, I'm going to explain the search function and I'm going to talk about the parameters and I'm going to talk about the difference between search and find function in this tutorial. Let's get started. <laughs> The best way to learn a function is to apply it and in this tutorial I'm going to apply the search function and while I'm applying it I will explain how you can use it and what are the parameters what are the important things to consider when you are using search function okay now the search function by the name you already understand that the search function is used to search things okay so you are going to search a certain text inside another text strings and when it find that text it will show us the number Number where the text has started okay now to be clear let's consider this example suppose you are finding out the P character inside the word laptop okay now if you use search function to find P inside laptop it will give you the result 3 because LAP it is the third character where the word P has first located okay so this is how search function works and let's apply the function and you will understand a bit more about it let's write the function here equal to s e a r and you can see already we have the search function if you select here you can see the two tips returns the number of the characters at which a specific character or text string is first found reading left to right and this is not case sensitive the main difference between search and find function is that the find function is case sensitive and the search function is not it is not case sensitive Okay, so select it. Now we have a text here and we are going to find the word search. And you can see here the search word is in all capital and I'm going to find out that word. So as I'm writing text inside function, I'm going to write it within double quotation. I'm going to write all in lowercase. Okay, and if I press comma, I move to the next parameter which is within text. So I'm going to find this word and where I'm going to find it, I'm going to find it inside this cell. Okay, now if I press comma again, it is asking for the starting number. Okay, now it is not a mandatory parameter so I'm going to leave it now so close parenthesis and if I press enter you can see it shows 5 because the word search first appeared in the fifth character okay you can see if you count here 3 and 1 space 4 and then the word search started from the fifth character now this is not case sensitive that's why it has returned the result if it was case sensitive then it won't find it because it is all in uppercase now let's go for the final parameters and understand what it does if I press comma the last parameter is starting number okay now the search function or the find function usually start looking for the word we are searching at the beginning of our text that means it starts from one by default now if we change the starting number starting number means the character number from where we are going to start searching so we had this result already at the fifth character so if we start from sixth character and if you press enter you can see the result is at the 16th character okay so this is the result it has found now the result has changed because we started looking our word from this characters okay so it started searching from here okay so this is how you can use the search function and these were the parameters and the main difference between search and find is that find is case sensitive and search is not okay so this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching watching.